I just recently got off of NCL's newest cruise ship, the NCL Prima. And let me say this, on board the Prima, there may be the most innovative and the best included food at sea. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here to talk you through everything going on in cruising. And today we are going to look at what I think is the most innovative and possibly the best included food at sea. I did a little experiment in this video. I, I hit the order button and I ran a timer for how long it took for the food to arrive to the table. It's going to blow your mind how fast this is. Join me as I take you with me for a lunch, a lunch in the Indulge Food Hall. All right, let's kick this tour of Indulge off by showing you how you get to Indulge. This is the local bar. Uh, this is a companion to the local food spot, which is on the other side of the ship. But to get to Indulge, one of the quickest ways is to walk through this local area. Uh, usually a crowd here, good place for seating, good place to get a drink, good place to watch a game. And uh, you make your way through here. This is on deck eight on the NCL Prima. And you finally make your way to the Indulge Food Hall, which is uh, kind of our destination here today. Uh, they have signs right at the front that tells you to feel free to sit wherever you want. And that's exactly what you do. You still have to you know, dig in here a little bit. But the whole concept here is that there are multiple stations where food is being prepared. You got some nice uh, kebabs over there. There's usually somebody there to remind you to wash your hands and to give you a seat. And the very first station that we come to, as I swing it around a little bit, the very first station that we come to is the Indian place. It's called a Tamara. And you don't have to remember these places. Once you get seated, all of the food that is available in Indulge will be represented to you in a visual way so that you can choose what you want. There's a beverage station there, self-service, uh, but these servers will also bring you the included drinks. As we make our way further into Indulge, this is the barbecue spot. Uh, and there's a lot of great barbecue options. What I really like about the Indulge is there is a lot of different seating areas and they are all themed differently. So this is the Q Smokehouse, uh, the Q Texas Smokehouse, Texas barbecue. Swing over here, this is the garden. Uh, of course, a representative of salads, salad. And then in the back is the Seaside Rotisserie where you can get a variety of things from chicken and turkey and uh, a bunch of different stuff at the rotisserie. And uh, we'll take a quick peek back here just to show you what the rotisserie, rotisserie looks like. Another uh, spot for folks to prepare the food and then some other seating. You got some prep in place there. You got already got the uh, sides on the plate waiting to be uh, partnered up with a protein. It's a good crowd out there today, the, the day that I wandered around. And uh, I'm still trying to, well, I got I got caught in the crowd. Let's just be obvious. These folks are trying to sit down. I got caught in the crowd. Eventually, I will break free. I got to break free. Uh, two Starbucks on the NCL Prima. The second one is up here in the Indulge section. Uh, most of these food preparation places do have a bar that you can sit at. Uh, sometimes the seating was a challenge, but most of the time you could find a spot the desserts in Indulge are grab and go, unless you get something from Coco's, which is a four pay dessert place. Uh, but uh, I, I mainly stuck with the in the middle desserts. So some of the food will come to your table, the main entrees. But if you want dessert, you have to get up. Or if you want to go to that beverage station, you have to get up. Uh, but the, the main appeal is just the being able to sit and wait for the food to come to you. You got the tapas place here. This is kind of neat, like a little Airstream looking uh, camper almost, or food truck really, I guess is what they're going for. And then the Airstream on this side with the, the, uh, the, uh, the Latin Quarter. There is a bar in the back of Indulge, the Luna Bar. And so you can order drinks. You can walk up there, but your server will also help you get drinks. Several hand wash stations. You've got another dessert area in the form of ice cream. Normally, there's somebody manning the ice cream station. Uh, you can come and get yourself some uh, strawberry chocolate or vanilla. Vanilla. And then uh, this, I believe, is the noodle spot. There's Coco's, the four-pay dessert. 
And then this spot is called Noodles, another food station. The Noodles, the Noodles. Quick look at Coco's. Uh, some interesting stuff here. The, this gentleman was getting a chocolate drink prepared. With some candies up on the top. They also have a grab-and-go dessert section here that mirrors the dessert section that we saw on the other side. And then as we make our way around, we're almost back at the front of Indulge. I think we'll take a quick look at some of the preparation stuff for Coco's. Of course, they've got some macarons. They've got some interesting fudge things that you, well, maybe no macarons, just chocolates. Uh, maybe I'm in a macaron mood. And then you've got some chocolate rimmed glasses for their specialty drinks. That's pretty cool. Here's a quick look at the Coco's menu. How about that? All right, so now I'm seated. This is the iPad type device that is at every table. This is how you order your food. And all of the food stations that we saw, they have pictures of the food that you can get there. There is a menu for lunch and a menu for dessert. So these selections will change, but you simply just work your way through the different areas and decide what you would like to have for lunch. You can push the picture and it will bring up what's included with those. There are some items that you have to uh, make a choice. Uh, once you get inside of the selection, there'll be multiple items there, uh, like the cornbread and beans. You have to choose whether you want the cornbread and beans, but you can have as much or as little as you want uh, simply by going through the menus and choosing some lunch items. Uh, let me show you some, some of my selections and I'll show you how quickly the food comes. So I'm putting my lunch together here. One of my favorite things was this jalapeno and cheese sausage from the smokehouse. I've added that. Here's the example of you have to choose whether or not you want the beans or the cornbread. Uh, I have picked the cornbread, which was quite delicious. Uh, going up to the uh, Indian, I got the Indian vegetables the fried Indian vegetables. And let me take a moment to point out, they do have some alcoholic beverages that you can pick up right off of the app there. Uh, you've got the beer selection, a pretty decent selection of beer. And you can also look at their drink of the day and you can order the drink of the day from right there on the app. Another section I wanted to point out in the menu is the garden section. So you choose from a variety of salads and then you can also choose from garden protein, steak, tuna, tofu, chicken, a really great way to get a light lunch, light dinner, ordering from the garden and ordering a lean protein. All right, now let me add one more thing to the order. I think this is good. Then I do the place order button uh, and then we go to the next screen and that's it. Lunch is now on the way. Let me pop this clip in and we can watch in real time how quickly it takes for the lunch to come. I'm gonna set the phone down here and we can see how quickly or slowly it takes for the food to arrive. Again, the thing that I like about this that is uh, probably one of the things that makes it advantageous to the cruise line is that they don't have to spend any resources to get your order taken. I mean, they did have to invest in the technology, but they don't have to have a person there to take your order. And you can order, again, as little or as much as you want. So you can order a little. If you're still hungry, you can order more. And the other interesting thing is they don't assign one person just to pick up your order. They allow anybody on the team to bring you your food. So I'm assuming they have a set of food runners that are going from station to station and picking up prepared food and then just dropping it off. Each of these iPads have their own device number and they're at their own numbered table. And so you just put your order in and you don't know who's gonna bring your food to you. Now there is one server that's kind of in charge of the area, the guy that brings you water just right there. And he kind of checks in on you, takes your plates away, that kind of thing. So he brought some water over. And uh, yeah, so that's it. You just order and you wait for your food to arrive. And well, as you're about to see, it does not take very long for the food to arrive. Boom, here is the first dish uh, popping up right now. And uh, let's take a quick look and see what that first dish was. 
It was my order from the Indian restaurant. And then almost immediately, the rest of the food starts to appear. You've got the sausage, you've got the cornbread. Uh, it's a really quick experience, and uh, yeah, I can't recommend it enough. Well, there it is. What do you think? The food got to the table in under two minutes. The food is included, a different menu for lunch and dinner. And uh, yeah, the food was good. Do you think this is the most innovative and best included food option at sea? Or can you think of an included food option that you like better? Does this level of innovation take away from traditional cruising? Or do you see this as a way to make the cruising experience better? I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Thanks so much for checking out this episode. If you want to see my full tour of the NCL Prima, I did a very extensive walk and talk on that ship. Make sure you go check that out to see all of the cool innovations NCL is bringing to bear on this new ship. Uh, this is Tony for La Lido Loca, and until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.